Hello, my name is Duncan Fowler and we're going to be working through tutorial booklet 6 for beginners. Uh, this is looking at calling up operators after nth item. And we're going to be using Flexim 2020. So, um, actually, let's have a look there. Uh, this tutorial introduces a, a multiprocessor uh, along with uh, a different time for nth item. So um, imagine something's been packaged together and you've got a label and after a hundred labels, um, you need to call up an operator to replace uh, the label um, reel. And so, so it's, it's gonna count how many parts go through the uh, multiprocessor and after a certain amount of time, not time, sorry, a certain number of, out of flow items, it will call up the operator to, um, actually this example is, is gluing and filling. So it's running out of glue uh, when it's making cardboard boxes and stuff. So it's a really simple model. Uh, it starts with a source queue and then a multiprocessor and then a, 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 a second queue. Uh, so we're, we're gonna put them in uh, and then we're going to go to the multiprocessor and uh, give it uh, these features. So uh, the, the basic idea of this tutorial is this little box in the middle. So every nth item will be assigned the first um, time. Uh, all other items will be assigned the second time. So you can see after 30 minutes, the nth, uh, sorry, after 30 flow items goes through the uh, processor, the 30th one will take um, 50. 50. All others will take zero. Uh, this will become uh, slightly more obvious when we when, when we look at the uh, the multiprocessor uh, settings. It's quite a basic tutorial. So let's go to Flexim. Okay, so we're in Flexim. Uh, let's uh, do a new model. Let's change it from seconds to minutes and say okay. Bring in a, a source, a queue. Hold down the F key and click somewhere to the side. Give a little space for the multiprocessor and bring in the multiprocessor. Let's squeeze it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's uh, hold down the A key, changes the cursor to a little chainmail. Click remember, you've got to start from, from uh, uh, the source to go to the queue. Uh, it's directional, so and then from oh, and then from the queue to the multiprocessor, multiprocessor to the finally the queue. Let's open up the source, and we're going to change the inter arrival time to zero. So uh, it's, uh, parts are going to start straight away, and you're basically going to have an an infinite number of these parts. Let's go to the floor tab. Uh, we're going to select a use transporter and say apply. So let's just move that a little bit further away. We're using a transporter, we have, but we haven't put one in the room at the moment. So let's get this operator, connect it. Hopefully you're getting the idea now what I need to do with this uh, operator is to join it up to the, the source. We don't use an A key because uh, that, that's for standard flow items and movement. This is requesting some transport, so it's an S key, so S. There we go. And let's open up the multiprocessor now. And currently we just have one process. Uh, let's make, we want three. Let's go to the first processor and change the time to five minutes. So the first thing that's going to happen, uh, it might be, uh, you know, uh, folding the box up or cutting the box to size. Then the next one uh, we want to be seven minutes. Oh, I've got 17 there, seven. There are basically only two processes to make this box. Um, the, 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 the last process is uh, where we call, we're going to uh, count the number of flow items going through this multiprocessor and we're going to do something different on the nth one. Um, 
down so let's um select the drop down next to the uh, the processing time and select uh, different type for nth different time for nth item so we want uh, after th 30 30 kilo items we'd like it to take 50 minutes and for all the others nothing so for, for the item 1 to 29 it's just going to do processor 1 2 and n nothing at, pro at the 30th flow item the processor 3 will kick in and it will take 50 minutes move to the side let's stop always stop reset and run so we our minutes are uh, going to tick over so you can see now uh, let's have a look Don't think I've clicked, clicked apply, so let's try that. Stop, reset, and run. So it's taking five minutes to uh, to do that. So it's then seven minutes to do the next, and then it goes through. And so forth. So when we get to um, 2080, 20, 29, I'll slow it down. So there we're going, I'm getting closer to 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and now it, what's happening is, is this. Processor three is kicking in because we've set it to after uh, every thirty to take an extra fifty un fifty minutes. Let's stop that reset and let's just go to uh, triggers. And what it's do on exit and we'd like something to happen so it's uh, change maybe the 3d shape and it's offering a box and let's uh, change its color as well so let's change it to uh, orange. There we go. I think it might be the same box. So we'll, we'll see about this. Run. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I will start off with a different shape than a box. So it's standard box. Let's start with a sphere. Reset run. So we've got these spheres. The sphere is going on there. Um, there's no breakdown, there's no flow. And we've got the, the different shape and colour. Let's just stop that. It'd be kind of nice if we saw this uh, this operation here, the third one, call up somebody. So uh, currently, number of operators is uh, none. Uh, we should change that to one. Uh, it's going to go through a center port. We know that currently there's nothing on the center port, so let's click OK.
and let's hold down the S key and join up this. So uh, it shouldn't be used for anything other than, so let's just click on there so we can see the, uh, the maximum. So we're going five, six, seven, let's get it higher up. Yeah, so jump straight through it. Let's have a look, let's do that again. So we've got 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'll just slow it down. So we're on uh, this 27 gone through here. So uh, let's just Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and now he should be cold, which he is, because it's the thirtieth. He's staying there for uh, thir for thirty, actually fifty, sorry, fifty minutes, and then he moves on. So this is quite a nice sample of uh, using a multiprocessor and uh, doing something different on uh, a, a certain count of a number. So th this example actually looks at uh, boxes, flat boxes. So really possibly what we should have done is change this to not a sphere, but a plane, apply it. So we get these really nice little flat planes, not the best color, they're all gray, and they go through here. Uh, the problem with um, when you change the shape, can you see that the the uh, the size of the uh, the box is as the same size as that? Um, so what we need to do is just add a scale as well. So let's just move it to the side. I didn't mean it to be that big. Move it to the side there. Um, on triggers, let's have a look what we've got. So, we'll change it to a box, and then possibly we need to um, look at the size. Uh, let's change that to 2x and y. Actually, I think it might be just said actually let's just change that back let's apply that and see if that reset runs no it doesn't seem to have worked nice location size Reset run. There we go. So big boxes now. Possibly two might be a bit, a bit of a big number. Um, let's one point five. There we go. So getting cardboard box flat boxes there they go in here after the um uh, scraping boxes after the 29th box he will be called over so click on there so we're currently on number seven eight Let's crank it up till we get mid 20s slow it down a bit 27 28 there they go so that's working it's working so we've uh, introduced quite a lot there we've introduced um, a multi-processor we've introduced the feature of um, doing something on the nth uh, we've also looked at triggers on uh, how to change the shape color and size um, and i hope that's been uh, useful to you guys uh, thanks a lot